Hey guys, thank you for coming to watch. I hope you're doing well today. In this video, we're going to be testing sun power, solar powered paper. The brand name is Sunography. Sunography? A really, really cool product that I found on a site called Uncommon Goods. I will link it in the description if you're interested in purchasing some. I don't get anything if you purchase it, like it's not sponsored, but I just thought you guys might have fun. I am almost 100% sure though that I did try this as a child, either in school at Girl Scouts or at one of those cool events around town, you know, like at a park where they have kids stuff. <laughs> there are two different types of this product that I'm going to be trying, cotton fabric and paper sheets. Apparently these are all Prussian blue, but in this pack there are different colors, green, orange, rose, turquoise, violet, and white. I can't show you these until I actually use them. You don't want to expose them to any of the lights. So you guys are going to have to wait and be surprised. It's a beautiful sunshiny day today, so let's go outside and test these out. Oh, but first, I have to find some items to make a print with. So I need to find some items to put on the paper and make these prints interesting. Who's over there? We are. Okay, not this drawer. Wooden blocks, probably not. Ooh, come closer to this. So I just want to this out some lace down here great I remembered that I had these pearls wow okay I cut up a mini slinky when I was a kid I was weird but hey they might come in handy now and there's a flower so there's a lot of shapes in here I think we could do some pretty cool prints with just this And I have this one full of different shaped buttons and a ton of round and square ones also. This poor Dalmatian charm. He lost his head. Okay, we're outside. This is what the paper comes in, and there is an instruction sheet included as well. I spent a little bit longer filming my intro and gathering items than I had planned, so the sun is about to set. But let's see if it'll work anyway. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> oh, look. As you can see, I waited to remove the solar paper until my entire workspace was set up and the containers were open and ready to go. Oh, it's like green. Now I am placing items onto the sheet one at a time to create a fun layout. In the meantime, let's talk about this process. The print that I'm creating is called a cyanotype and this process dates all the way back to the year 1842 which is when Anna Atkins printed various types of seaweed and algae. So when the two chemicals, ferric ammonium citrate and potassium ferrocyanide are mixed together into a solution, that becomes mildly photosensitive when applied to a surface such as paper or cloth and then exposed to ultraviolet light. I don't think anyone can hear me with the cicadas. Hope that it works. The iron present in the solution will go on to become an insoluble blue dye called Prussian blue, which is what it says on the package. And you'll be able to see that shortly, hold on a second, but I do want to let you know that I had these items sitting on the paper for about 30 minutes before removing them. And this here is the reaction pre-cold water, but there is more to the process. Whoa, so cool. Remember I told you the blue dye is insoluble. This means the areas on the paper that were exposed to the sun cannot be removed as you are seeing here. Trying to rinse it away, not budging. All the yellowish areas were covered and those iron salts are still able to wash away as you're seeing here. Science is pretty cool, huh? I let it dry overnight and here's what it looks like the next day. Ta-da! It's a little light, yeah.
Before I test the cotton fabric paper and let you guys see some different colors here, we're going to do an experiment real quick. We're gonna see how this works with a UV lamp instead of taking it out in direct sunlight. So I'm going to quickly take a piece of paper out and I'm going to cut it in half just so it fits in there better. Then I put the half that I'm not using back into the protective sleeve so it doesn't get activated. And you can see I have this doily here. I used this for some sort of painting video in the past. Anyway, I'm going to place that onto the paper about halfway just so we get a really cool design. And I'm gonna put that in here. Here's what it looks like after eight minutes under the UV lamp. I think that it looked exactly the same at six minutes. I did not check it before then, so it could have done it even quicker because the UV rays are more concentrated in this lamp. It's kind of like the same concept as a tanning bed. So I'm gonna remove this. And you can see that it definitely did work. We're gonna rinse it off now. Here on the right, I tested the other half of the paper under the UV lamp and wow, does this thing work quick. I only put it under for two minutes. You can see that it's not as detailed and the blue is not as bold and deep of a color, but it worked after just two minutes. They were still wet, but here they are completely dried off and I do want to also put them next to the first print that we tried out in the sun. I think since it's way earlier today, it's only 9.20 a.m. and there's plenty of sunlight left, I am going to show you guys what a print under full sun would look like and then we'll get into those colored fabric papers, I promise. I ended up getting outside around noon, I believe, and the sun was looking beautiful. Look at it. A little bit of cloudage going on, I know, but that's okay because, spoiler alert, this print is going to turn out way more vivid than the first one that I did at sunset. Just wait. This time I decided to gather some pieces of nature. I feel like a fairy here. Namely leaves and those helicopter things. arranged everything on the paper while it was in the shade this time. Then I carefully just slid everything over if I had to fix anything I did, and it is now in a sunny spot. You may have noticed though from earlier footage while I was walking around or the leaves blowing that it was slightly breezy this day, so a couple of the pieces shifted while it was sitting out there and something blew away. That's why there's so much blank space in one of the corners. No big deal. You could put a clear piece of glass over everything to hold it down but still let light through, but I didn't. Moving on. Well actually, we're about to get into the cotton squares, but I want to let you know to stay tuned until the end to see this print all dried off in its true glory. Alright, so here we are finally getting into the cotton fabric. Yay! Some of them I have no idea which color it'll turn out to be. I'm only going to try one in this video and save the rest for later times. But right off the bat, my initial reaction was like, whoa, these are super, super flimsy. And they're unraveling and they have frays not the best quality, like not what I expected. But the real test is, will they work? Question mark. I mean, that is what's most important, but 
the fraying is ridiculous. Like why is this not like cotton t-shirt material or something that doesn't fray? I don't know. I was just expecting a better like thicker quality fabric. Maybe it wouldn't apply well like the solution. Who knows? I arranged everything inside the house. I have everything sitting on a table and there's a canvas on top of the table. Once it was all arranged, I transported the entire thing outside very, very carefully just so things wouldn't move. Oh, wow. Do you see this? It looks like the fabric has moving stripes on it here. Almost like I threw in some wild trippy animation via editing, but I promise I didn't. This is just straight camera footage. Here are all the prints fully dried, some comparisons next to each other. You can see that the one with the UV lamp, the darkest one, and then the one from the full Sunday, those are definitely about the same quality, I would say. The Prussian blue is in its prime. I also did another one on my TikTok, so if you want to see that video, I will link it in the description box below. My name on there is Sarah Lynn Arts. The fabric also turned out really cool. If you want to see more colors, maybe I'll do them on TikTok. Just let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. I'll put a couple other videos over here if you want to check those out. I do post every single Friday and I have a craft kit testing playlist. I'll link below and in the iCard up there. I hope to see you guys back here next Friday and thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of the day. Bye!